Guys, go check out our Patreon where you can get our daily morning show and next week's episode today. Welcome back to the basement yard. Danny, how's it going over there? So you got a big old cup of iced coffee. Yeah, but it's like half hot and then it's like half not. So I don't know what it is. It's just going to become slosh. I think that's the idea behind the coffee. No, I think that's the idea. What the fuck is a nitro brew? What the fuck is that? I don't. Even, I'm not familiar with the coffee world, so I don't. I don't know. I don't know what a nitro brew is. I don't know what a cold brew is. Isn't that just iced coffee? I think nitro brew is something dangerous that you make bombs out of. Oh, you can either drink it or kill people with it. Exactly. Um. Anyway, uh, I kind of wanted to talk to you about something. Um. Oh God, what I do? No, it's trending on Twitter. Like at the moment, at the very. Did you just lick your cup? Yeah. There was okay. like a little there was like a little foam on there. I, I, I licked it Yo, up. by the way, Amazon guy delivering packages to to my mom's house. We have a glass door and then the regular door. Mm-hmm. He just opens the glass door and sticks his body into my house and puts the packages down. And we were like What the fuck? We're like, "What are you doing?" Did you and say the, that to him? Yeah, my sister went off. Oh, she was, I know Sh- Shan Dog's going hard. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? And the guy's like, there was no doorbell. She's like, just leave it outside. It's a fucking pandemic. Like, what no are you stealing doing? stealing packages. He's, dude, he walked basically into my house and put the shit down. And oh. she was like, what are you doing? Like, what the hell's wrong with you? My dog like, what ran is, after what the, the fuck? But what the fuck is he doing, though? He, with Amazon, they have to, like, take pictures of the packages and, like, leave, I don't know, whatever, but... It so was you're just allowed thing. to break into people's houses now? Yeah, it, that yeah. I mean, that is it's not breaking and entering, but you're certainly, you know, entering. Also touching a million packages a day, you fucking sick freak. Stay outside, you Amazon freak. What, what I'm trying to say is this man entered us with no consent. We didn't give him consent and he entered us and in a court of law, he raped our house. Yeah, 100% he raped your house. <laughs> That's what happened. He raped the shit out of your house. Yeah, the Amazon guy raped our house, just came in. We didn't know he was there. Surprised us and put the packages down. So, what a sick freak. Yeah, so, you know, that was that. I'm on his badge number. I don't think they have badges. No? <laughs> Amazon drivers have badges? No, probably not. Dude, Amazon's like the fucking Secret Service, by the way, because literally on my way to this apartment, there's, a, there's an Amazon truck depot, like, down from where my mom lives apparently okay. because today when i got here i got to a red light a red light we got to a stop sign and it was an amazon truck and then there was 30 amazon trucks so they send them all out at the same time and i'm starting to think there's a conspiracy here where they have stuff in those trucks and not just you know books and jigsaw puzzles they have toothpaste right no no oh. I'm talking about government documents. I'm talking about the Declaration oh. of Independence. Oh, you maybe know? dead fucking bodies too. Or that. There's been a lot of that going on. Yo, there's part. There's in Manhattan. They have like tr- freezer trucks where they're literally doing stuff like that. God, I'll tell you this. Um, I, I I used to think I believed in conspiracy theories. This quarantine has made me so conspiracy that I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Is that a word? No, fuck think. no. <laughs> conspiracy. I've become Wait, why so you, conspiracy. Why are you conspiracy? Because I feel like everything is conspiracy now. And then they got this whole fucking thing going on with Kim Jong-un. Ah, uh, yes. He had like brain surgery or something, right? He had surgery on his heart. And like people, we don't know if he's dead or not. It's 2020. How do you not know if somebody's fucking dead? Very easy to know that. Uh, Very easy to know if a, if a man is dead, and he looks like a little round, fat man with no... no. Take it easy. Take yeah, it easy. Know. Okay, yeah, he killed was... his own brother. Yeah, that's I, true. I can we'll hear fu- myself in your headphones, by the way. Can I you? Think you're, I think you're blasting it. Maybe, maybe, if I, maybe if I turn it down. Turn it down. How about now? Can you hear myself now? No, me, huh? No, I don't. We're good. Um, you good now? Okay. I wouldn't. I, I'm afraid to talk about uh, you know the the KJU because I never know if he's watching or not. I know he killed his own brother. He had him poisoned. Like this is you know medieval Game times. 
Yeah, yeah what the fuck are we doing? We're poisoning people? I just... I, I... I think he's been dead for a long time, and it's like a weekend at Bernie situation. They just got him propped up in the office, like, sir, can we? And he's like, all right, I'll come back later. <laughs> yeah, I think dude, they got a weekend at Bernie's thing going on with it, with him, and I think they're looking for a body double, is what I'm thinking. No, I think... <laughs> Fuck. To do I told what? you, I've become very conspiracy. Well, remember they had a body double of, of uh, Melania Trump? Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, they're looking for a body double for Kim Jong Un. Can't do that. What, Kim Jong Un? You can't, you can't do that. How do you say his name? Yeah, I mean, it's it's Un. We're we're American. We don't know how to pronounce it. In you know, I Korean. think it's Kim Jong Un. Uh, <laughs> and then I think his replacement would be Kim Yo Jong, Kim Yo Hong. I'm just trying to be PC here. I don't think you're. I think you're going the other way. I think you're, I think you're offending people here. I'm I don't, very I mean, conspiracy. I'm sorry if I offended anybody with Kim Jong Un. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to fucking say his name. No, nah, I thought it was Un, but you know I don't know. I'm just Kim Jong Un. It's just hard. Kim Jong Un. It's better. Kim Jong Un. Yeah. Um, I think that's. I think that's how they say it. I saw a tweet that said he's either brain dead or dead. Oh, so now he's like a fucking like science. He's like a Westworld person. <gasps> They're gonna Westworld Kim Jong Un. He's it a might. fucking host, bro. Do you think they would clone him? Do you think that? I think that's what they're trying to do. Conspiracy. You want to be conspiracy? You want to conspire? Yeah. You want to yes. talk about some things that could possibly yes. exist? Yeah. Glo- global pandemic. Right, we're wiping people out right now. Right, people are dying left and right, hundreds of thousands. Uh, I don't even know if that's right, but I think a lot of people are going down. Thousands. I think the elite are getting worried. You know, what I'm saying I'm talking about the people who work at the the Federal Reserve and like you know higher ups, Jeffrey Epstein type of people who you Up know have an boys. island. Yeah, there's a there's a there's an island where they do things that you know we wouldn't want to hear about. Is what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, Those yeah. kind of people, right? Yeah. Do you think they're trying to develop a way to clone themselves? Yeah. So that they can, in case they die, they're back? What am I saying? I think, all right, I'm very conspiracy about, about cloning too. Because the thing about cloning is, remember like when we were in like high school, they like successfully cloned like a goat or some a shit? Sh- a sheep. A sheep? And then we never heard anything about it. You're going to tell me that in, like, since the fucking 12 years that we've been out of high school, they haven't cloned anything else? They've had to clone, like, at least, like, half of a person. Like, maybe their fucking head or some shit. So I'm thinking they're going to do, like, a Futurama thing where they clone people's heads and they can put them on bodies. Like, clone their brains. Would you... Oh, her name was Dolly. She was a female domestic sheep. And she was cloned. This bitch looks like a sheep. Yeah, that bitch is full sheep. There's no clone in that bitch. That bitch is full shape. This bitch does look like... Hey, she's 20 years old? Bit What? She's still alive, that clony bitch? Yeah. Wow. Dolly the sheep. Dolly. What a terrible name for that the first clone sucks. ever. You gotta give that shit a number like CR287 yeah. or some shit. Like, like, give, it, like give it a cool ass name. Give her the name of a white housewife? The fuck is this? Yeah, what the fuck? Here's Dolly. When I hear Dolly, I just think of a woman that wears an apron like 14 hours out of the day. Yeah. I know one Dolly, and it's Dolly Parton. Huge tats. Fucking major boobs. (laughs) Fucking bazongers. Dude's got, yo, she's got hammers, dude. Yo, that dude has big tits. Those are some fat country tits, I'll tell you. Yeah, those are some big singing titties, dude. Okay, some big yodeling hammers. She can sing her ass off, too, and her tits. Oh, man, she, you know, she can't sing her tits off. Those tits aren't going anywhere, dude. Hell no, though. Dude, clone those if you're going to clone anything. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You want to do something for society, score one for the good guys. Let's get some more of those titties out in the world, you know what I'm saying? Also, a sheep, dog? Like, why are we cloning that? Like, why don't we clone something else that's going to, like, help people? But what is this? Do we get more sweaters? Yeah, that's true. What are we getting out of a sheep? Did you... 
Is it Hold- inhumane to shave a sheep? Bro. I, it is, I, right? I think I told I'm- you this story before, but when I was in pre-K or kindergarten or something like that, we had a trip. Frankie was there. We had a trip to the farm. They had a stage where they were just shearing a sheep. And the sheep's going, Because <laughs> they make that fucking noise. And I remember being like, yo, they're shaving the shit they're out of the sheep. They're killing it. <laughs> leave it alone. For the longest time, and I thought. Like, and they're just. This is how fucking stupid I am. For the longest time, I thought a sh- like a sheep's wool was a part of like their skin. Okay. So when I when I would hear that they would shave sheep, I'm like, "Ew! Like, why? They're like ripping its skin off. The poor thing. Why are they doing that?" And then my dad had to explain to me how what hair is on an animal. So and, and then that's when your dad knew that he had a fucking idiot son. Yeah. I wonder how many times my dad has looked at me and go, oh, God, this kid's so fucking stupid. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Dude, I wonder. <laughs> that, you honestly are going to have those. Like, when we eventually have children, there's going to be days where you're like, oh, man, I'm worried because. Tommy's just a fucking idiot, dude. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> That's cr- and and you want to know something? You'll never be able to tell them that you thought that, but you had a legitimate thought. Like, listen, my kid's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, if I'm being completely honest, I've had my dad tell me that numerous times. <laughs> if your father oh, hasn't called you an idiot, you're not doing anything. You got to be yeah. called an idiot by your parents. Yeah. 100%. But you know what's a funny statement to say to somebody? What are you, stupid? Because then I got to really think about if I'm stupid or not. And it fucking fucks me up. Also, what if I am? Yeah, what if I am stupid? I'm not going to know the answer. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. That's a, good, that's a good way of thinking about it. That's deep. That's philosophy. Uh, what are you, stupid? Uh, I think that's a rhetorical question because you I can't wouldn't answer know the that. answer. Yeah, you there's no right answer to that question. If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't be stupid. So then are you stupid? Oh, is that... Are you we allowed to do that? Like an Egyptian? Are we allowed to do that? I don't think we're allowed to do that. I don't think it's very PC anymore. <laughs> uh, we got I mean, Kim Jong-un and this fucking thing now. We're I will say... demonetized. I will say it's fun. It looks cool. But, oh, my shoulder... That's kind of it's kind of dope. Yo, by the way, speaking of PC, uh, you know Lando Lake's butter. Uh, the one with the Indian with the fat titties. Again, <laughs> first of all, those weren't her titties, but you would fold the box to make her knees because she was sitting on her knees. You would fold the box to make her knees go up, and it looked like her tits were out. That's what that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. Do you know how horny? Fat tits. Do you know how horny you have to be? To yeah, I do. jerk off to a butter box. Oh, no. I, I never climbed to it, but I, I was... I mean, I, I didn't was, climb either, but definitely there was some blood pumping into the downstairs, you know. There was, like, two things you could do back then. It was, like, fold a dollar bill so that, like, the bushes looked like uh, something. It was, like, the, it looked like the Twin Towers on fire. Right. You could do that, and then it was the Land of Lakes, uh, uh... Tit. I said Indian. Native American. Yeah. Uh, the, the tit knee titties yeah but they're ta- they took her they took her off the box they took her off the box because they said it's you know because it's it was like an anniversary or something and they took a uh, the the native american woman off the box and they just have land of lakes now to be like more pc <sighs> and knee tits back it's part of growing up <laughs> honestly the fact that there's no knee tits anymore is a little upsetting but Dude, people are losing their minds about this. Over butter or over butter. titties? There's no, two uh, separate arguments here. No, there. No one has mentioned the titties. I think that's just a thing that only we know. But listen to this. This is yeah, the whitest. This is the whitest fucking tweet I have ever seen in my life. Okay. Fucking uh. Oh my god, I just noticed this woman's... Th- so it's a woman, right? Her name's Gracie. That's all oh, I know. I know where she's from. Her name on Twitter, not her handle. Her name, like you know how you have like a name and also your at or whatever? Her yeah. name is is Gracie, Chief Fun Officer. Hey. I would like to drown that woman. Okay. 
I'm C- uh, CFO of fun. I'm a chief fun officer. Really? God, Everyone... white people. You know what that means? So not funny. That means adults don't want to hang out with you, and you're good with children. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> And but being anyway. on time for soccer practice. Dude, listen to this. Lando Lakes can kiss this butter buyer's ass. My family has been a Lando Lakes family since I can remember. No more. I'm fine with the store brand from here on out. Your view your virtue signaling lost you some your virtue signaling lost you some good customers who are always willing to buy your product. Hashtag buh bye. She said buh bye? Not only did she hashtag bye bye, but she claimed to be a Land O Lakes butter family. Now I don't have a family of my own, but if at any point I say that my family is a specific type of butter family, gun me down. I will. Gun What's me the down. What's the matter with you? Land O Lakes house. Yeah, dude. This is a Land of Lakes house. What are you doing bringing that fucking spread in here? When you know... What's this Olivia, what's this Olivia bullshit? <laughs> I can't what believe it's not butter. Olive oil butter shit. The fuck is this? Dude, we're a Land Bring of Lakes family. Bring the back, though. I, I, I feel her, though. Bring those tits back. I don't think she's doing it for the tits. Hold on. I'm going to Google that. Land yeah, of Lakes tits. Land of Lakes tits. tits. Oh my god. Dude, it's this is so a land of lakes stupid. house. I don't want to hear it again. Get the marker yeah. out of here. So hold on, I'm gonna put it up to my screen so you can see. So if you fold it, that's what it looks like. I don't know if you could it's not gonna like Oh, there it goes. See those? So if you fold it, her knees look like tits, and you know it got me Fire. through me and Danny through m- many days, many dark days in our lives. I've seen um, many Land of Lake knee tits. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah. Making toast in the morning—that's the best fucking time to see a tit. Oh yeah, dude. You, anybody, everybody wants to see a titty in the morning. Seeing a titty in the morning is like. Also, what's that song called? It goes. Uh, It's like the morning song. By who? By oh, what? No. no, it's like in every. Oh, movie. oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. things like that happen? It's like, oh, this is just going to be the morning song in every cartoon or every movie ever. Yeah. I, I know How what does you it mean happen? Now. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of. I don't know. It's. What's going on with my brain? I don't know. You're just, all, you're just thinking of weird shit. You're conspiring. You're conspiracist. I'm conspiracious. You're... I'm conspiracious. I'm actually conspiracious of you. What did yeah. I do? I'm actually conspiracious of you. Why? I'm going to come out and say it. Oh, okay. I'm going to say it. I don't, I don't care really, that you I broke your elbow. <laughs> I don't care that you broke your elbow. What? I don't think you're finishing these books. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Because you're reading too fast. For someone who's never no, read not. a book ever in their life, <laughs> in their life, yeah, has read five books in like a month. I haven't. Not five, buying it. I haven't finished five yet. I'm. I have seventy pages left in this other in this book. Now. He knows how many pages he has left. I just read this morning. That's why. I'm conspiracy of this. No, I fin. I'm finishing the books. You know, conspiracy usually it bleeds into jealousness at, at one point. Jealous, jealousness, jealousy. You so you're just not going to use any words that like no, that no, exist. no, 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 no. It's time. It's time to segregate away from America. Now we're going to be our own nations at one point. That's true. That's very true. But I'm conspiracy of you. I want. I, I might need a book report at the end of, of one of these. I'll tell you what. You pick one of these books. You look it up online. And you pick a random excerpt out of the end or the middle or wherever you want, and yeah. I'll tell you what it's about, and I'll, okay. I'll prove you wrong. All right. Okay. I want to see. I want to make sure. I want to make sure. I want because the people out there are getting this new idea of you. Of now, you got to be even smarter now. It already drive me nuts. And then, and then, and then now it's like, all right, this kid's reading a book every day. I'm over here drink, I'm drinking not, coffee but I'm not, and watching uh, <laughs> Ninety Day Fiance. I'm not fucking doing anything. 
the only book that I read fast was the one that I read before the one I'm currently reading because there was one day where there was nothing happening. It was like raining and I read like 120 pages in one shot. So I was like almost halfway done with the book already. How does this happen? What? How? How, how does this happen? I'm on to you. I'm on no. to you. I'm also jealous. Like this morning I, I read... I usually read 50 pages. I try. But this book's been taking me a while. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Not All that right. it's not All good. Right. It's just that it got slow and I started to get like disinterested. And it was like, All right. I'll call, I'll call the dogs off. I'll call the dogs off. For yeah. now. For now. I've been writing. I've been writing. I, 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 yeah, I've been journaling. Like just about your day or about like a fictitious sort of story? No, 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 no. Please. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should write a fucking fiction book, and then yes. you should read it. Yes. Yes. And another There's... thing you should do when you're done with this fifth book, let me pick your next book. I actually just bought... <laughs> you're not going to like this. I just bought nine books. Oh, my God. Yeah. This kid. I'm not. I don't know that, like how fast I'm. At. One of them's like 120 pages, so that one. When I real life crush. comes back, this isn't. This isn't happening. Yeah. Are Are these books gonna stay? Is what I want to know. I think the world I, wants to know that. I, I think so. It's not. It doesn't. It doesn't take that long to read 50 pages. Like, and I try to read 50 pages a day. You smug fuck. It's true. It's hard for some people. How dare you? How dare you? What, read to read a book? Bo- read 50 pages in one shot? D- fucking shoot me. I mean... You holding your dick right now? Huh? Are you holding your cock? Am I holding my cock? Oh, your hand was in your pocket. I literally thought you were about yeah. to give me a lecture on books while you were just holding your fucking rod. Oh my God. <laughs> Keep talking about the pages. Yeah. Do you use a bookmark or are you fucking fold in the page? Uh, I have a... Like, we just opened up a pack of cards, so I took one of the Joker cards, and I used that. What? Everything has a meaning with you. There's no meaning behind that! <laughs> I'm a Joker in life, so I use the Joker card. It was you the only the card I could take. calculated person I've ever met. No, because the first few books, I was folding the would pages. You agree? Would you agree, though? Would you agree? No. I think you're one of the most calculated people on Earth. <laughs> No. I, you know what? I, I think I had a revelation the other day. This no. is you're definitely not going to like. And this oh, I will I will say this. There's an 80% chance that this doesn't even come close to happening. But I think at some point a part of me wants to get a degree in psychology. I think that's a great idea. I don't know if it'll happen. Like I think Just it's do it online at your leash. Nah. Why is it for some reason when you get older it just becomes easier to graduate from college? Because you care. My friend said this the other day. That was kind of interesting. He was like, "Education is is wasted on the youth." And when you think about it, like, oh my god, this guy's hanging out with fucking senators now. What the hell is going on with you? <laughs> no, we having a conversation about how like it's interesting how a lot of people have regrets when they're older. Like, oh dude, I wish I just like paid attention more in high school and then went to this school like for whatever reason not because of like education person it was be like did you see the i just tried to say purposes and it came out weird but i was talking to my friend abraham lincoln yesterday and uh he had this fucking amazing thing to say to me <laughs> no uh, but they were like yo if i paid attention more in high school or i cared like i could have gone into arizona state and then college would have been fucking sick like whatever and <clears throat> it was just a conversation about I honestly don't remember what it, what it was about, but how people who are older sort of miss the idea of like learning because eventually you just work your job and then you never really learn anything True. other than what's in your job field. So you get curious and then you just feel like now if I went back to college like today as a 28 year old, yeah. I would be, it would be so much easier for us to like figure it out because it's like. This class is an hour long, or it's 45 minutes long. Like, it's fucking... How hard is that? It's, it sounds so simple. You know? But back then, it's like, you're just trying to live your life. There's Your, your priorities are just kind of like, whatever. But also, there's the, there's no pressure when you're 28 and you're kind of, like, established. There's no pressure to be like, if I fail this, I am fucked. Or, like... I think I I've know. said this on the show. When I was in college... Yes, I went to college. 
<laughs> didn't graduate. Um, when I went to college, summa cum laude. Summa summa cum laude. Um, there was like a fifty-eight-year-old man in my class who didn't like have to do the homework or anything. Like he didn't care about the grade; he just wanted to learn. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. That is. I was that like, is... "What the fuck are you doing here, you old fuck? Get out of here!" <laughs> Taking up fucking roster spots and shit. The only thing that sucks that like this is why it probably won't happen is because I am just interested in psychology. Like I've always been interested in psychology, and I, I would have to take all these other classes, like a fucking math class that I like don't give a shit about, and I wouldn't have the patience for. Yeah. So I'd be like, "Fuck." Do you have to do like prerequisites? I think so. Like I think, so you would have to you would have to take like math and shit? Yeah, or like do like an elective like square dancing. I'm good <laughs> on that. Fuck that yeah, no. Shit. I, like I'm not gonna write a paper, an English paper, because I wanna learn about psychology. I'm just not gonna well, why happen. don't you wanna why don't you play like the YouTube card and get like a like an honorary diploma or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I'm fucking I'm giving famous a people get speech. those all the time. They don't go to they don't go to college, and then you get to give a speech. I'm not a famous person, you idiot. Ah, uh, you gotta let that go, dude. You're famous. I'm not commencement speech known. You know what I'm saying? See, I think you're wrong. I think I think you are commencement speech worthy. Are you yeah. insane? What? I mean, is that even a uh, real question? I was like, can you hear me? <laughs> That's a yes, yes. I am insane, but I, I think, think I would you are crush a commencement. Worthy. I think you are commencement worthy. I'd give no a one's good a bigger fan of you than me. That's, a, that's a, you got to understand that. My mom, you're you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> maybe your mom, maybe right. It's close. I think you're worthy enough to give a commencement speech. I think a college would benefit very much from hearing from you. I think that is a ridiculous statement. Why? Tell me why. You have to 28. be some fucking nerd with a doctorate to teach people how to make their way in the world. No, that's what you have. That's what we need, huh? If I'm what, sitting, what, what, in... what you want, Jim Carrey to come? Yes, he gave a great commencement speech. I love that. Yeah, speech. he did his already. Denzel Washington. These guys never went to school. Yo, whoever they went has to, like, seen acting school, and now they're giving they're talking. Oh, well, actually, uh, Denzel Washington went to college. If if you haven't seen the Jim Carrey speech, go watch it because it's a it's good a great year. speech, and I quoted it on my Instagram live the other day. Which did you reason, actually? I don't know why? Yeah. Which part? The uh, when he was like, my dad had um. Oh, I know what you're gonna say the job or whatever. It's like you why fail, fail at something you yeah. don't want to do, then you should fail at something you want to do. Yeah. Which is bars. Which is bars. 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 Hey, bars. 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 bars, bars. No, but I think uh, for some reason the fact that you don't think you're good enough to talk to a, a group of college kids, and by no. group I mean the entire class, I think you are. No. Yeah, dude. And that's not that's not a humble thing. It's just I me sitting in a crowd in college of being like, who does twenty eight year old kid know about anything? I think you know a lot about a lot. I think you're no. selling yourself short. No, oh, I'm realistic. Joe, we got to think big, baby. <laughs> Maybe a high school, but not a college. The fact that your old high school hasn't asked you to come back and speak is outrageous. I wouldn't go. Why not? Because I I just, I wouldn't. That's what? it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't feel, I don't feel like that. Imagine they called you and be like, hey, Joe, we wanted you to go. Nah. No. Would How's you that? ever speak to the youth? Yes. In what setting do we get you to like do some public speaking? I'll set it up. <laughs> Would you ever do know. a TED Talk? A TED Talk? Yeah. It would depend what Dude, it would Dude, they be do about. TED Talks about everything. Pet grooming. They don't give a fuck. They'll throw yeah. you up there. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't really feel the need. I would, I would, I do think at some point. Why are you point, so down on yourself? What's I'm going not, on with you? That's the thing. I'm not down on myself. I'm very realistic with myself. And I think that at a certain point, I think I will be qualified to give speeches like that. But I'm Damn, not there yet. brag. Love that. Flex on him, kid. 
No, that's just me believing in myself that one day I will be able to offer that information. I don't think I'm there yet at all. But why can't? But why can't you be inspired by a 28 year old? Why do they have to be a 50 year old dork? You can, but the, <laughs> no, the, it's not about age. It's just that I haven't. I don't think that I'm at a position where I'm like, okay, now I can offer, you know, definitive advice to people. I would hate to be the person who gets up there and just says a bunch of vague shit. But you give me definitive advice all the time. On things that I know. Yeah, right. Okay. But not on things like that are very general that would apply to an entire college yeah. class. You know? Also, like, I would also run into oncoming traffic full of bullets for you. So there's that, that's a little different. Traffic full of bullets. Yeah, I would. I would. You know I would, too. To run into traffic? Joe. Or lightly jog. Lightly jog. Yeah, I don't know if I, I could. Come on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to pull a hammy before I die. I want to die with grace. I know, I know. I got you. You know don't what I'm saying? Worry. If you were going to die, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think we've asked this question, but I don't know if you've been watching Westworld or not. But uh, spoiler no. alert for, for the next five seconds. Do you watch Westworld? No, I watched season one and I fell off of it. Mm, okay. All right. Um. They they spoiler alert. Uh, uh, they do like this leak, where everyone finds out their fate. Okay. And it gets like texted to your cell phone, right? Would you read the message or would you not read the message? No. You wouldn't read it. No. Oh, I'm reading that shit. Or also, it texts you about your kids and shit. What, like, like how they die? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not reading any of that. And it tells you, like, what happens to them, like, mentally or, like, physically. Also, you have a therapist now, right? Yeah. Is that public knowledge? Yep. All right. I didn't want, I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I do, Jack I my do. whole swag, bro. Th- <laughs> I told you this for mad long that I wanted to go to therapy. I've been telling you to go to therapist for two years. Yeah. Um, How's that going, though? It's good. I mean, I don't feel like... Um, I, I'm not I'm not skeptical of therapy or anything like that. I, I, I honestly don't, but I don't feel like it is a necessity in my life, but I do it because I think that it just keeps you here, like balanced. Okay. Or whatever, you know what I mean? Like a lot of what I say to him, I've already thought out very clearly and tried to work back of like the core reasons why I'm feeling or saying or acting a certain way. Right. So when I talk about it, I get through all of that. And then sometimes there's just not much for him to say, um, but which is fine because a part of their job right. is just being able to be a person that you could say all that shit to. Um, but I mean, there has been things that he's offered for sure that are useful, I guess. Any, but, any breakthrough yet? Define a breakthrough. It, it's completely personal, a breakthrough. No, I mean, like, but what do you mean by that? Like, where I was like... Just a, just a door that needed opening in your brain. That you never thought, like, oh, you know, oh, I never really thought about it like that. Not really. There has been a mo- one moment of, like, I've never thought about it in that way. But it wasn't... It didn't really move the needle as far as, like, the end okay. result. Right. As what I, but I was like, that's an interesting way to look at it. Like, basically like that. Okay. But it wasn't uh, like... Oh. Yeah, holy shit. That plastic oh bag was my dad. Yeah, but like, the you know, world yeah. is numbers. Yeah. <laughs> the fourth dimension is time. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> um, the last question I'm going to ask about therapy, because I don't like to pry about people's therapy. Um, have I come up in it? No. No. Yeah, fuck this. I don't... God, dude. I'm I mean, so your name... In- I'm so insignificant in your life at this <laughs> point. That it's fucking, it makes me sad. I talk to my therapist about you all the time. Me? Yeah. Bad things. Mm -mm. (laughs) Mm-mm. 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 (laughs) Uh-uh. He's slamming that coffee. Ah, No, sir. No, but I, uh, I'm sure your name has come up. It's never been like, we're talking about Danny. I fucking miss you, dude. Oh man, just hug me so hard, dude. It hit me the other day. I was just, I was, uh, 
Where was I? There's like a sky deck area here. Mm hmm. And I've never felt thought this ever in my life. I was this looking is... at the I was looking at the ocean. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And you saw two dolphins fucking. I was sitting looking at the ocean and my mind just goes I really wish Joe was here. <laughs> Love me, dude? That's gay. <laughs> you want to watch Oceans yeah. with me, dude? <laughs> yeah, and I, I and I obviously uh, know that you're not here, but there was somebody that I saw that I looked, and I got so excited for <laughs> half of me. a second and thought it was could possibly be you. And I was like, oh my god, yeah, forget it. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. <laughs> uh, it's we. It's weird. It's weird. What? Like, I actually genuinely miss you. Hey, man, I miss you too. I mean, we spend every day together, basically. I know. I, I think that's what it is. I, it's just like, you don't know what you got till you don't have it anymore. I think that's what it is, right? <laughs> it's something like that. You it's something it. like that. Yeah. I miss the office. Damn, I'm so glad that when you see an ocean, <laughs> you think of me. I can't believe I stared at the Atlantic Ocean with palm trees and sand. I love how you had to fact check that. I know. I'll, I'll be honest. With you, I got nothing for you, so you could have said anything. I was just like, "Oh man, I really wish Joe was here." I'm a 31 year old man. That's so good. You know what? I'm I'm really excited. We got to sneak in that Austin trip beforehand because, like, that kind of keeps me sane. That Austin trip feels like it was seven years ago. I know, and it was so fun. I feel like we've all grown up, you know what I mean, like grown up and like gone our separate ways and like had families. And now we can't see each other. <laughs> and now we can't see each other just because we're too busy. Yeah, like you moved to Indiana. The craziest thing about this whole thing is that I don't know when I'm ever going to see you again. Yeah. That's a real thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if I'm ever, like, even when I do see you, if I like, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to like touch you. Or fucking feel you feel me yeah like hug you and fucking just feel you feel your fucking body yeah get my heat on you yeah i just want to fucking feel you dude I, and i'm not even trying to be funny i, I i'm a, you know me i love fucking touching people <laughs> yeah danny just touches folks i i like i like to touch i like to touch um just tempted to touch but uh I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I think it's, it's love. I think it's love. I think it's love. I think it's love. Do you think... Do you, do you love me? I love you, Danny. No, no, for real. I'm, I'm, I'm being fucking... <laughs> yeah. hot, uh, being no. real. Yeah, of course. All right, cool. Because I need that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to say it. I need words of affirmation. Yo, because... Do you know your this... love language? Yes. What is it? I do. I do. Um, <clears throat> uh, um, I'll get the list. Mine is like words of affirmation or some shit. Yeah, words of affirmation is the one where it's like you need to be told like Yeah, shit. yeah. That's that's my love language. I'm trying to find like the list of what are the... Oh, the five different love languages. Um, yeah. Words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, physical touch. Yeah, yeah. I'm physical touch and words of affirmation. I'm a, I'm a mixture of one and five. What do you think mine was? It's definitely not giving gifts and it's definitely not receiving gifts. Oh, no, no. It's not receiving gifts. No. You don't like getting gifts. You're, I, 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 no, I don't, I don't not like getting gifts. I like getting gifts. You're but, so hard to get gifts for though, dude. It's like, like I could like go to like any store and buy you something and it's like it's not gonna hit the same but like if i got you like a shoelace that jerry seinfeld wore once you like lose your mind no <laughs> no see like this this thing that i have on my wall right mm -hmm. for whatever reason it just like hit like like when people are like you got to get gifts people think you got to spend a ton of money or like this and that like i'm more so Interested in, in the what comes along with this gift that there's some like sentimental value to it My mom yeah. bought me this thing, which is so stupid. It's probably like, you know, 
a basic white girl would love this thing. And it's it says my star was born. And it's February 25th, 1992, which is my birthday. And it was the earth and what the stars look like, whatever. And I don't even care about the stars, to be yeah. honest with you. I haven't even like looked at it or been like, here's the Big Dipper. It was right over fucking Zimbabwe on that night. <laughs> like, I, I don't even Formerly care. Formerly known as Rhodesia. Whoa. Yeah, what book did you read that in? getting smart during this quarantine, <laughs> motherfucker. I know African shit. I know African shit. Um, but it was just like the way that it was presented. And I don't know. Great gifts turn you into a crybaby cry baby Jones. Oh, yeah. Like, dude, it's there either, was, it's either there you was get one Joe time. a gift and he doesn't give a shit about it. Or you get Joe a gift and he cries. There's no fucking middle ground with Joe. Yeah, that's kind of true. Not when it comes to gifts. It's either you make him cry or you, you or you fail miserably. And it's <laughs> no. hard. No, yeah. That's not true. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. But there was one time where I could <sighs> think about it right now and cry. But cry right now. Yeah. So there was this thing back in the day. Do you remember when I went? <laughs> Do you remember when I, oh shit, I gotta do the ads. We're fucking far into this episode, so hold on. Holy Let me get shit, to the, 42 minutes in the episode already. <laughs> Let me get to this ad, these ads, and then, you know, we'll get to what we're talking about. Um, on the topic of therapy and whatnot, uh, we have BetterHelp. Um, BetterHelp is online counseling. Um, you could talk to someone who, a professional counselor, licensed professional. Um, they're available world, worldwide, and they specialize in anger, depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, um, things like that. Um, and if you're not happy with your counselor for any reason, you can request, uh, a new one at any time. Um, and best of all, it's truly an affordable option. Uh, the basement yard listeners get 10% off your first month with the discount code yard. Um, that is betterhelp.com slash yard. And you will get a, uh, 10% off your first month with a discount code for yard. So if you've been looking to talk to someone or, you know, you're seeking whatever, you also can talk to them in four different ways of communication, text, chat, phone, and video. So, Definitely hop on that. Uh, I've I've been getting some messages from people saying they're thankful that you know we have that sponsor on our show, so it's working for some people. Um, next we have Postmates. Um, Postmates is just like your a personal delivery person, okay? That would deliver anything to your door. I've used them in the past to get weird stuff, okay? Xbox headsets, you know, a, a bag of chips, even. I've had them go to Cold Stone for me. And Cold Stone's very far from my apartment, but they do it, and it shows up, and it's melted, but they do it. Um, and it's great, okay? You download the the app, you find your favorites, any store you want, pick out what you want, they will get it for you. Um, and for a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days um, to start your deliveries. Download the app and use the code BASEMENT. That is $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app, okay? Anything you need. Um, and lastly here, we have stamps.com, which brings all the uh, services of the U S postal office, um, to your computer, to your home. Okay. At any time you can print official U S postage, um, for any class of mail, any letter, any package, whatever you need, um, to send it out. Um, and right now some people are staying home. They don't want to go anywhere. Um, I don't even know if the post office is open. It may be, I don't, I have, I'm not even sure, but um, with stamps.com, you could stay home, print it out. Boom. You're good. Um, and stamps.com, you get great discounts too. five cents off every first class stamp and up to 40% off of USPS shipping rates. Okay. And now in addition to offering discounted us postal service rates, stamps.com also offers UPS services with discounted rates up to 62%. Okay. So it's a no brainer saving time and money. Um, right now our listeners get a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without long-term commitment. Um, just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in basement. That is stamps.com and enter basement. Okay. Hey, Hey, I had to fucking stretch like my hips, stretch those hips up. I think I'm uh, getting, like, hip dysplasia. I'm like a fucking, what, what were you we just talking retriever? about? I was about to say something. I feel like. Um, about gifts. Yeah, something about gifts. Yeah. Oh, I have a great story though. So let's just—I'm uh, gonna hop right into the story. All right, just go. Okay. So, um, Selena's sister told me this story 
about her friend who's a flight attendant. Okay? Um, so when flight attendants, when they travel, they all stay in the hotel together. They all stay in one hotel. So they land in some city. I forgot what the city was. And, you know, they're hanging out or whatever. Uh, she goes home. Well, not home. To her room, like, late at night. Uh, she takes, like, all her clothes off, gets in the shower, puts them in one place, right? Puts And uh, takes everything off, obviously, to get in the shower. Puts everything in one place. Goes to bed. Wakes up. And she's putting her clothes on. And she realizes that she can't find one shoe. One shoe is missing. All right? And downstairs are all the other flight attendants. And they all have to leave together. So, like, they're texting her, like, hey, what's up? Like, where are you? And she's like, oh, this is embarrassing, but I can't find my shoe. For some reason, I can't find it. Um, so, the flight attendants come up. And they're helping her find the shoe. And they're looking, they're looking. She's looking all over the place. Can't find this shoe. One of the flight attendants, other flight attendants... Opens a drawer. And the shoe is in there. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the flight attendant whose shoe it is walks up to the shoe. And there's a note inside. And she pulls the note out. And the note says, It was a pleasure watching you sleep last night. Shut the fuck up. Yes. 100% 100% true story. I would I, never fucking recover from that. D- what the fuck? Yes. Yes. When I was told this story, I was like, I'm telling this on the show. The, went to bed, put all of her clothes in one place. Only thing that was moved around was her shoe. And it was a note. It was a pleasure watching you sleep last night. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. How fucking crazy is that, dude? If I, I would have, I would have went downstairs and be like, "Yo, get the fucking camera footage because we're gonna arrest this guy." Yeah. See, I have a conspiracy. I'm conspiracy about this too. <laughs> I think it was one of the flight attendants. <laughs> Sips his coffee like he cracked the case wide open. Who? How else would they have access to the room? It's either somebody that worked there. Somebody that worked there. It could be was someone a who works there. Creeposaurus. That's more likely. Or it was an uh, it was a flight attendant. How would the flight attendant have a key? You know what it is when like somebody like back in the day when like your friend would like steal something from you and, and like so, like they would miraculously find it. That's what mm. I think it was like. She'd be like, "Oh, it was under this uh this this table here. I don't know how it got I mean, there. If it's I in a drawer." If it's in a drawer and a bunch of people are looking for one shoe, like eventually I'm going to check a drawer. Or maybe conspire. You want to conspire? Maybe it was the girl. Because maybe she, she overslept. Wanted, or maybe she wanted to have a cool story. So she got everyone in the same room and then let someone else find it and be like, there's a no. And it's this big dramatic thing. And maybe she did it. Whoa. Inside job. It's an inside job. How else are you gonna how else are you gonna get in those rooms? Yeah, you can't get in that room unless you have a key, right? Which and another thing, if this girl didn't go downstairs, right, and file a police report or all these things, because that is completely dangerous. Well, that I don't know. I'm sure maybe she did something of the sort. Well, that I, I don't I don't know. I will say if she did it, I think she is the culprit. Yeah. Because if yeah. she didn't, she's like, no, I'll just forget about it. Then I'd be like, yeah, what? Like, why not? Like, that's dangerous, bro. Like, I would never sleep in a hotel again. I would never be able to sleep at all again. Yeah, that's fucking freaky, bro. Like, if I woke up and there was a person just standing there watching me sleep, it's on. Like, you're dead. I'm Someone's going to die. I'm killing you with my hands. Yeah. That's killing someone with scary. your hands is so fire. Yeah. Wait, what? Like... Why did I just... <laughs> I, it, w- it would be so fire. It would be so fire. I've never killed anyone that I know of. Right. But, like, cho- like choking someone to death that, like, you really want to kill is probably fire. I, I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, an intruder, right? And you get them, and you're fucking, like, jostling for positions. Like, 
And you guys are fighting. You guys are falling over the coffee table and shit. And then, like, as he hits the ground, you just grab this dude by his throat. And he's fucking, you're just choking the shit out of him, right? This guy's in your house. He's trying to steal everything. He's trying to kill you. So you're killing him now. And you get to watch his fucking soul leave his body. Right. That's a pretty fucking dope way to kill someone. Okay. That's primal as shit. I mean, it is. I don't think I have it in me to kill a man with my hands. Yeah, you do. I could stab a man who's intruding and trying to kill. You could but... stab him? Yeah. Would you, like, shh, shh, like after you stabbed him, like, tell him it's going to be all right and, like, lower him to the ground? <laughs> <laughs> like a hug? <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut the fuck it's, up. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just let it's go. It's not okay. You're stabbing me. Yeah. I love when they do that. It's okay. I'm sorry. I loved you. Well, how, many pe- somebody, yeah. how many people are going to stab someone in movies and tell them that they love them? Why? That never happens in real life. Yeah. Like in Saving Private Ryan, when the guy's like on top of him, he's like... That was on yesterday. He's like... And he's like... He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, shh, shh, shh. There's a weird part in the beginning of that movie where it's like, I think it's like a priest, but he's on top of someone and like in their face. And like, he's like, and he's like looking and then he comes back and like talking into their mouth. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. It was mad weird. That movie's fucking intense. Uh, yeah, dude. Inside of the tent. Inside. I, every time I see that movie though, I hate that the sniper gets blown up like that. Yeah. He's That's like, my, my dude. Lord, is, Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> it's like praying and shit. He's like, I walk through the valley of the shadow. <laughs> like, yeah. fucking shooting everybody. I was like, this guy's the man. And he's gone. Also love the fact that, like, those guns in that movie, when they're shooting, it's like, dum, 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 sing. And this thing just <laughs> pops up. It's the fucking Walkman comes flying out of the fucking thing. It's yeah. Just, right. Also, I did I So that was on yesterday. And that just reminded me that I had this thought. This is kind of uh-huh. stupid. Do you remember I've been telling you I've been watching a lot of animal shit? Yes. So this is what I thought about. Um, Never once told me that. No? No, no, no. That I was watching like a bunch of like, you know, like planet Earth and whatever. Like I crushed no, like our planet. one of planet. your other 800 best friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, ooh. Yeah, I'm giving you sassy neck. Nice. That is so gay that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> giving me sassy neck? I am giving you sassy neck. Uh, Ew. Ew. Gay, isn't it? Did you just bloge me? <laughs> Event planning. Event planning. Gay, isn't it? <laughs> so funny. Um, Sopranos quote. Sopranos. Um... Damn, what was I talking about? Oh, oh, so I was watching Animals. like another thing. And this is so f- fucking stupid, right? So I was watching this show about animals. And then an animal just happened to be peeing, right? At, in this shot. And then I thought about how many animals there are in the world. Okay. Right? And, I'm, and then I had like birds. Like how many birds do you think there are in the world? How many birds do I think there are in the world? There's probably five for every person. So there's like, I don't know, like a trillion. About 10 years ago, two scientists decided to estimate the total number of birds on the planet. The number they came up with was 200 to 400 billion. Okay? Damn. So we have mad animals, mad people, 300 billion birds. The earth is covered in piss and shit. Yeah. Hell Isn't yeah. that crazy? Like, th- I saw like a tiger peeing on that show, and then I just went, "Yo, the whole earth is just covered in piss." Like I've pissed outside, so I know yeah. that numerous people have pissed outside, drunk pissed, which is like a forty second piss. And then there's three hundred billion birds in the world. They're just shit. They're fucking covering entire continents with poop. Yeah. This- the, the earth is just covered in shit. It's just shit. It's a big toilet. Have you ever had one of those peas where you have to, you literally run out of breath and you have to take a deep breath? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you have to go. <clears throat> Dude, to you ever like wake up in the morning? Yeah. 
It's like some, some, some. It's just, it's so <laughs> stupid. And no matter what, you piss yourself. Like when, you, when you're like, okay, I'm done peeing, and then Jake goes, wait, here's all this other pee in your pants now. My <laughs> dad goes, one time when I was like seven years old, I was like, oh, like, like I got droplets of pee on my pants. Like I, I was like, I shook it. Like I tried. And my dad looks at me and he goes, no matter, and like literally got down on his knees, like give me this teaching moment. And he goes, no matter how much you shake and dance, the last few drops end up in your pants. Got up, held my hand and we walked away. That that was beautiful. And I was like, okay. And it's never left me. Yeah. It's so true though. It's true. Why I've never can't we danced mid piss though? I don't know. Our dick's just not our friends uh, when it comes to that. Like when also, girls pee, when girls pee, they what? Wipe a, what it. a messy pee that is, by the way. When girls oh. pee, it must just be like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? It's like turning on two hoses and pointing them at each other, and then it's like this messy. <laughs> See, girl, girl. It's like when you put your. It's like when you put your finger over a hose, like spray your friends with it. <laughs> oh, God. See, girls pee and tinkle. Guys take pisses. Oh, yeah. We take fat pisses. Girls just tinkle. <laughs> they tinkle and pee. Fat pisses. <laughs> Yo, let me ask you a question. You ever yeah, wake yeah. up in the morning and then you go to pee and your dick goes, okay, two streams. One's going in the toilet. The other's going right into the wastebasket. Dude, I've had, tri- I've had triple headers. And you're like, what am I supposed to do? Am I, I supposed to all over the floor. finger my dick hole to make sure that there's a one stream that, you know, what am I supposed to do? It happened to me like, I want to say within the last month that I literally went to piss and I had a triple headed monster and I didn't know what to do and I just pissed everywhere. <laughs> I didn't. I was like, "Yo, I already know this is gonna be a major cleanup, but I'm just gonna piss everywhere. I can't. I can't do it." Yeah, sometimes it's like <laughs> I have to like get there? lower to the bowl, so I yes. can like not spray everywhere. No, nothing's harder though than the double thumb press down erect penis piss. It's so hard to do. It's so hard. I literally put both hands on the wall, and I like point it down. Oh, I've never tried that. Yeah, you make a right triangle with the wall. Do you think there'll ever be a time where we don't get boners in the morning? I have uh, Some days I wake up, but I'm not boned. Really? You're boned every morning, consistently. Every, every day I have a boner in the morning. I'm Not every day. Like, so, <laughs> so, like, you have a sleepover with your buddy. You guys are drunk. You're hard I'm, in that bed. I'm waking up hard right next. I've woken up hard next to you. When have you woken up next to me? Like on the couch or something. Or like, oh yeah, on like vacation or something. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> damn, you're boned every morning. Yeah, dude. I'm not. Yeah, I, don't I don't really, know. maybe I am. I don't know. I don't think so. Dude, that boner in the morning is outrageous. It's so hard. What is It's that? amazing, dude. And then, and then honestly, you've probably been hard for like five hours. So you have like a mega dick. Like your dick's never that big. It's the biggest in the morning. I think like it's so weird because when in like REM cycle, like if you watch someone sleep, their eyes are just like moving like crazy. Yeah. Right. So, but what is your dick doing? Or like, what are, like what are you seeing? What are you seeing? What are you seeing with your eyes when you're sleeping? That's making your dick go yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting it so hard. Imagine if your dick had a REM cycle and it was just like it's just like, moving, <laughs> just going crazy. <laughs> Like your pants, it's like, yo, it looks like there's a squirrel just loose. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god. Yo, do you think um when you sleep ever like would you ever do a sleep study on yourself? I've been so fascinated with these. Like how many times I wake up or whatever? Yeah, yeah, like how many times you wake up or like if you talk. Like I wanna film myself for an entire night sleeping and see what the fuck I do. Cause I probably do weird shit. I would do it to see, I guess. Like, but like, I don't think like those like like those electrodes to your head and shit. (laughs) Yeah, like I I want to do that. Like I want I want to be tested in a lab. I mean, you should. Don't you have like? Don't you snore? 
Yeah, I have, I have like, mild sleep apnea. So you should go anyway just to see. Yo, my yeah. dad my dad went because he has apnea. He sleeps with a mask. And he went to get tested. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the doctors were like, I don't know how you're standing. Because judging by the sleep you just had, you got eight minutes of sleep. See, that's the thing. Like, with me, like, I'll wake up and my chest will hurt. Like, I thought losing weight was going to help, like, with my apnea. I don't know. It's still the same. I mean, it definitely will help. But, but like, there's nights where I wake up. Like, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and be like, ah! <laughs> What? Yeah. Like, like I'll a night wake terror? My, like, I'll wake, I'll wake myself up from snoring. I'll be like, oh. Ah, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Who's in here? I'm, I'm serious. You're going to wake up with your shoe in a drawer. It was a pleasure listening to you sleep. If you were... Say you found that, but you found it by yourself. The note how we're quick, talking about. How quickly are you telling someone? And are you checking your butthole? Yo, I would be... Uh, if, if I was by myself in a hotel room and found that note, I'd be so scared, dude. Like, I'd be so scared. Like, I would think they're still there. Like, I would grab all my stuff and run out. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I would be so... I might even just leave all my shit. Oh, you want to know? There's something I wanted to revisit with you. Do you remember when we did, like, the, the questions and shit and I cried? Uh, yes. But we, we, we did the thing uh, where I was like, if you could run out of your house and not take one thing with you, and you said nothing? Yeah. Is it still nothing? Well, in in the... For the sake of the question, it was like, just pick something. Right. So I said I would just take, like, if my phone counts, I'll take that. Right. But, like, what about, like, now? Not really. No? I just don't. I, I, maybe I'll that's tell you a right weird now, thing. I'm running, I'm running in that fucking apartment getting that goddamn watch saying I never found it. Oh, you. yeah. Dude, I haven't even put on jeans. Like, I forgot that I have that watch. Because I haven't even put Yo, on I jeans forgot, I forgot in I two months. I too. Like, I, I don't know. I don't remember anything that I have because I wear sweatpants every day. I don't even know what every day. jeans are, dude. Yeah. I haven't worn jeans in forever. I forgot who it was. great one, feeling. One of, one of my friends was like, dude, I haven't put on hard pants in so long. <laughs> hard pants. Thing, hard pants is a great way to say jeans. Yeah, it's um, like jeans or like slacks or whatever. So down here, I was like, yo, I'm not going to get clothes. I'm not going to bring clothes from where I live. It doesn't make any sense. It's 90 degrees here every day. So I was like, I'm just going to go to Target. I bought the entire store for $206. Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah. Target's great. Yeah. Target's fantastic. No, no plug, though. They're, they're not a sponsor. Sponsor the show, though. Yeah, that'd be great. We'll get on a Sunday commercial or something. Yeah, dude. I'm running into the house and taking that watch and being like, dude, I tried. <laughs> It was too hot. No, yeah, I mean the. I mean, See, like but, the box, like but in that's my the pants thing. with the papers. I'm thinking of that I question of being like. Fire. <laughs> I'm thinking of that question, um, as like, is there anything that has crazy sentimental value to you that you would have to go in and get it? And I just don't have that. It's wild. Do you though? Like you're saying the watch because it's like worth money. No, the watch is. I've always wanted a Rolex my entire life. So I was like, it it just means something to me. Right, but is it worth your life, <laughs> you know? Yeah, fuck yeah. I don't know. That, I, I got to get started on rebuilding a house. I don't know anything that I'm like, that I'm not willing to part ways with. Like, to run into a fire and get. Like, if some people are like, oh, my grandpa passed and the only thing he gave me was this painting. And I've kept it with me for 40 years. So, like, I would want to take that. Like, that I get. I just don't yeah. have anything like that. Like, All mine right. is just, like, material things that I'm like, yeah, I mean, you could get another one of those eventually or whatever the fuck, you know? Ja feel. Ja most definitely feel. Ja feel? For sure. Yeah, we blow each other or whatever. <laughs> yeah, we blow each other or whatever. <laughs> I just looked over at my screen and just remembered I Googled how many birds exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm losing my fucking mind. Yeah, that we are. Yeah. That we are. I've had a couple of days where I'm just like this. Yeah, I'm not getting better. <laughs> I had I had some days where I was uh. I was like I was like God damn it! Like I I start to like I have a couple of days where I'm upset 
and I like start to lose it. And I'm like, yeah. oh, but I know that they come and go. Like for every bad day, I have like four good days. Not good yeah. days, but like days yeah. where I'm like, everything's fine. Like I'm, I'll be all right. I would say that. I would say that. And usually it's the bad days. I have bad days for sure. It's just like bad days where like I hate the feeling of that I could wake up and it's like I can't go somewhere that I could just want to freely go to. See, that's the thing. Like I, I feel like I'm adjusting to that. Like I feel now, like now I am, but it was driving yeah. me bananas. Like, and I always considered myself like an introvert, but like not being able to do it is driven me fucking crazy. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I feel like I'm adjusting to that part, but it's just fucking you know what it is like you see the same exact people every single day yeah and i'm just like oh my god and like these obviously these are the people that i love and care about but like yes at the same time like i need a fucking break here which is nice for me to come back here and like just work or whatever because i don't have to constantly just not be alone which would kind of drive me insane yes um being alone would drive me insane 100 percent but I think like I like I would hate to constantly be around people too. Like I I like I enjoy having the contrast of like I can be alone, I can be with people, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I feel like I'm a, I'm, I'm adjusted. But on the days where I just kind of sit around and just watch TV and I don't try to be productive, I don't like, and that's what the only reason why the reading and running thing started. Cause it was like, I just need to accomplish something like yeah. me reading 50 pages is not a big deal to someone who reads books. But to me, I feel like I just conquered the fucking world by reading 50 pages in a day, you Hell know? Yeah, and like dude, that's fucking finishing insane. a book. I'm like, y'all, I'm a, I'm the smartest man alive, you know? And yeah. just having that, like, I feel like it's important just to have those things. And also like running I'm like, Oh, I ran 20 miles this week. Like, I'm able to say that like that feels good. Like I accomplished something. Cause of the other days that I'm not accomplishing anything, like we do the podcast and whatnot and like life right. goes on in that way. But my day to day, I feel like I need to distract myself. Cause if I can't just like go and hang out with my friends and just like kind of escape through that, then I'm going to just sit with these thoughts forever. I'll go crazy for show. Yeah. No, for 100%. show. For show. 100%. You know, if I wasn't doing these podcasts, I don't know what the fuck I'd be doing. I need to do something else. I'm going to do push-ups today or something. Cry start, a little bit. Start talking. Cry the other day? Fantastic. Did you? Fuck yeah. Nice. Love that shit. Nice. It was like a happy cry. <laughs> Why'd you cry? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about like my family and stuff. And then like <laughs> I was thinking about like how uh, I can't see them. And uh, like we kind of had like a little family thing happen. And then... Uh, I don't know. I just kind of lost it. I went in the bathroom and cried at three in the morning. It's fucking gay. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you got me back. Yes. Got me back. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, I went in the bathroom and cried at three in the morning. That's funny. Um, but yeah, I think we can sort of wrap it up here. Yeah. Um, it's Wait, one more thing. Last thing, here, last, thing last thing, last thing, last thing. Does Greg come into the office to do OPL with you? No. I actually Good. just bought I bought a bought? another another Zoom bought. What I say? Bought. Bought? I said so, it like Yeah. I I so you I, bought something. I bought something. Bought. Yo, you say bought. I say bought? Bought. What do, what do you say? Bought. But I don't know that W <laughs> the W is hard. It's a hard dub. <laughs> I bought, but how mad is it? How mad do you get that a W just doesn't look like this? It it's, has a du- be, it's double. It's two V's. It's two U. It's like double U. Make it the U's. Make it the U. Yeah. Double it's V. About this U. Yeah. Um, no, but I bought a new, uh, recording device so that he could and i'm giving him one of these mics so he could uh nice. you know we can record that way yo do you, when do you think we'll ever be back in there um i would say uh i think sooner than i think you know i don't think it's anything crazy i don't think that like life will be back to normal until next summer right though 
Like, I think they're already having discussions now, if for New York City at least, about not, like, reopening right now, but starting the discussion of, like, how are we going to reopen? That's and I th- good. I think that sometime in July, things will start to open, but bars and stuff won't. Right. Um, what about friends? When are, when are friends going to open? I think, well, that's the thing. When testing is, like... Because I think by that time, testing is going to be easy. Like, everyone's going to be able to get a test and this and that. Everyone needs to get tested before they hang out with anybody. Because if you're asymptomatic, you're going to fuck people up. Right. So once you get tested and if you've been quarantined, then people are going to feel better about, you know, seeing each other and whatnot. And also when you've kind of done this thing where everyone's been inside for so long and then there's not a lot of cases coming in or there's no cases coming in at some point Mm -hmm. or whatever then you kind of feel better about like, okay, there's no way that they would have it. Right. right. I have it. And enough time has passed that whatever surface it's on is probably dead now or whatever, you know? Yep. So, I mean, I think it'll, I think it'll eventually happen. I think in the summer we'll be able to see each other and whatever, but I don't think like bars and concerts and all these things are going to be able to happen until there's a vaccine. Yeah, you just because gotta they, be careful though, because like your sister's pregnant and shit. Like I understand why you're mad cautious. Yeah, and I'm seeing my mom and shit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But I get my that. my um, you just don't want me in there. It's fine. Yeah, that's 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 a big thing. I think uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't know. But yeah, I'm optimistic about being able to see everyone though. I hope so. I miss everybody. When you think about it, like everything kind of went better than we had planned in a way. But also, there's going there. They say it's a you know it's a possibility that there's a second wave in in the winter. Oh, with the Spanish flu, it was the the second wave was the wave. <sighs> Fucked everyone. It's just ass. the wave. I'm yeah. I'm worried. I'm worried about that though. I'm worried yes. about the winter. Yes. I'm never gonna see you again. <laughs> No, one day there's going to be a vaccine and everyone's not going to give a fuck. I hope so, because I want them to shoot that shit directly into my fucking heart. Yeah. <laughs> like fucking Uma Thurman and Pulp Fiction. Just fucking jam that shit in my chest. Yeah. I'm afraid yeah. of that shit. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think we could wrap this up, Joe. Yes, we can. Where can I find you? Um, You can find me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard and our patrons, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Can I get on the fucking morning show? What the fuck is this? Yeah, dude. I didn't fucking call me. Well, you gotta be like, you know, whatever. Tell I'll, me I'll call you. It. How about, the, when's the next one? Monday? Tomorrow? tomorrow? I'll fucking call you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right? At Daniel O'Priori on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure to go check out the Stank Podcast. We just did a full office bracket on there which is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, Stank Podcast on Instagram, at the Stank Podcast, sorry. Uh, YouTube.com slash the Stank Podcast. Me and Mr. Frank Alvarez, movies, TVs, television, uh, talking about everything. Um, also, if you're not uh, a patron of the Basement Yard, you're not really our friend. So I want you to go <laughs> sign up for that, and then you automatically get my friendship. And uh, other than that, I think we're good, Joe. Sweet. All right. Well, that is all. We'll see you guys next time. Tim John.